All right, so today is the day for chickens. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared of birds. I know, that's crazy. When I was a teenager, I was at lunch with my friends and we're all in a car together. And there was five of us in the car and we have these really big, uh, I don't know, they're like pigeons, I guess. Anyways, uh, we're, we had the windows rolled down. We're like enjoying our lunch. And one of my friends that was in like the driver's seat was like throwing um, fries to the birds. And um, so one like flew into my window and it got stuck in the car. Oh, I remember like freaking out so bad. And the person that was beside me, who was in the middle, like I was behind the passenger, person in the middle, I was like on top of them. Like I was like, get this bird off me. He was like stuck. The bird was like stuck on me. And I just remember the like claws. Anyways, I don't know why I told that story because now I'm way more scared. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna put them in here for like the first like two weeks um, just while they're tiny and small and then once hopefully by that time we will have our chicken coop ready so then we can put them in there. They're coming today and I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm even like a scared of baby chicks like it's kind of funny Ugh. but yeah so but I'm working through my fear. I'm working through it I'm getting through it. I know I need to get through it. It's kind of funny, but um, a big thing is I want to grow my own food and we've had chickens before and I really feel like it's what our family needs again or, or all of my other kids love animals. I love every other kind of animal except birds. Like just all birds kind of freak me out. It's just like their little feet. It's like their little claw feet. I don't know. Hi, Mango. <laughs> so I'm going to try to put a backdrop stand here and so we can hang the heat lamps from it. If I didn't have that, I would put a hook in my ceiling so that I could get it to work. I'm gonna give everything a nice clean. They just pulled in with our chicks. So we just got our chicken. Are you completely terrified? No. I'm gonna hold one. I'm gonna hold one. Am I allowed to hold one? No, we'll wait until tomorrow if you guys are holding okay. Do we want to name them all now? I'm not going to have to name them. That's going to be impossible to know their names. I can name that one, Nanny. <laughs> Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah. Sure. Some of them are scratching in here. Just like, and I want to get right? out. Yep. Yeah. Hey, are you excited? Can I pet one? Yeah. I said I will pet this one. Way, one way. more left. They all need to go into their water. They need to know where their water is. Last one in this container. They're not climbing up to get to their water. Aww. Be gentle, very gentle. Just be more gentle than with the cats. Until they get bigger. You know, don't you know how to do personal space? Oh and this is how they God. stay warm, right? So they use their body heat to get close together. 
Uh, Are the ones with stripes the roosters? No. It's two different types of chickens. Oh no. We like, don't know if we have roosters. Look how cute they are. Hello guys. Hello guys. Uh, don't touch them. Can I touch them? No, she just said don't touch them. <laughs> Armadillo. You take a white one from here and a white one from there and look at the difference of them. Is there, are those more yellow? Or it's probably just kind of light. Yellow. Yellow. Don't mix them up though. <laughs> they look the same. Yeah, they do look the same. Their beaks just look a bit different, but they're gonna grow differently, you'll see though. So like, here's what we're looking for. If they're cold, as I see these guys, that's what they're like when they're like, kind of a little bit cold, or they're trying to get warm. If it's too hot, then no. nobody would be underneath where the light is. They'd all be somewhere else. But if they're all kind of like spread out, then they're comfortable. Let's give our chickens some food for the first time. They're doing really good with the water. We'll just put the food in there. See if they come and try it out. And these are all girls. You're right. I got it all in some. Look, there's one guy testing them out here. See that guy? And there's many, and there's this yeah. guy was testing that, but now you missed it. Oh, I missed it. Shoot. Oh, can How I name two? Two? Yeah. What are you gonna yeah. name them? Um, Rose, Rosie Rose. Rosie Rose. Rosie Laura. Rose and what? Alora. Alora. That's one of my friends in tap dancing name. Okay. It's a girl that always has curly hair, and it's brown. All right. Rosie Rose and Alora. So cute. They're like their water. So their water is magic water and it has honey, local raw honey, and it has apple cider vinegar in it. And we cannot find garlic, so we didn't add the garlic. Um, but we usually add garlic clove to it as well. Look! I think that little chicken told the other one that there's food in here. Yeah, they're getting some food. That guy, did you see him? He's walking on it. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do. Also, my sister Honey said had card card things, and it says all my name will accept a pet. Um, and also today it's dead, and I'm just a little dead with my brother's clothes. But it's a little boy. Yeah. These are movie glasses. <laughs> so that's why she has fake glasses and her brother's clothing on. We brought them home is to give them their magic water, um, and I'll, we'll send we'll put the link below. It's a Justin Rhodes recipe. It's awesome, and so we had these unhealthy chickens, chicks. I just, I can't remember how many we got. I think we got like ten, and right away. I think two or three died right away. And we could just tell they were unhealthy. They just didn't seem good at all. And um, 
So we started giving them this magic water and it really did help them. And it helped the remaining seven really thrive. So we are really grateful for it. And that's kind of when we found it. Um, if you are doing chickens, check out Justin Rhodes' channel. There is so much information on there that he just gives away for free, which is like amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely check out him. But so we gave the chickens the magic water for the first like four hours that when they're here. So after the four hours, then we gave them the feed. So it was just, we wanted them to get really used to the water and this really helps with uh, pasty butt. Um, so they don't get that. So, which is, we had one chicken one time get it. So we don't want that to happen again. So this is our setup. We have a backdrop stand, two heat lamps, um, bins with wood shavings. There they are, all of our chickens. <laughs> Like who turned off the lights? These guys. So here they are, brown and They're yellow. They're all gross. Brown and white. I'm, I think the brown ones look so adorable. I have a dog whining because he wants in here right now. All right, well thanks so much for watching our video. We're excited to do this journey with you guys again. We're really excited to have chickens again. It's been two years since we've had them and we're excited to um, do it again. <laughs>